Mikhail Trave. He, we missed him last week. He wasn't in uh, Augsburg. I think uh, the Spanish kept all their Olympic athletes out of uh, Augsburg, but they're all here this weekend. And so Trave, one of just a handful of the men who does both the K1 and the C1. He is a junior world champion. And we just know that uh, he is very, very fast paddler in both the C1 and the K1. Looking pretty good at the moment, Mikhail Trave. Oh, they give him a touch on gate six. And he's got a little bit stuck. A little bit stuck there in that stopper. So a little bit of work here for him to do to get back on track. I don't know that he's going to be able to uh, absorb those mistakes. Let's see, though. More than two seconds outside Gagu Chenu's time. Repeating it is Franz Anton at the moment, who's sitting there on an 89.24. And at the moment, Trave is going to be well outside that. So, and he's not, geez, lost a lot of momentum. He's really struggling here to keep a pace going. So Trave in a spot of bother here. Not really going fast enough here. So it means that uh, Franz Anton looks set to go into this afternoon's final. Mikel Trave comes down now to the finish line. And yes, he'll be outside the top 10, in fact, into 16th position. So Anton, Franz Anton, the former world champion, joins five other athletes.